Hi and welcome to the Remax Hallmark May 2018 Toronto Real Estate Market Report. May sales were the lowest since way back in 2002, while our listing inventory was the highest since 2013. I'll comment more on that in this broadcast as we go through the market report. So let's review some of the Toronto Real Estate Board statistics and see what's happened. Sales were down 22% for May compared to last year, with 7,834 houses and condominiums changing hands in all the districts. This was the lowest number of sales for the month since May 2002. Condo townhouse and high-rise suites took a highest ever for May 38.2% share of the market, with 2,992 units being sold. The May average sale price for all GTA homes came in at $805,320. This was a modest 6.6% decline from one year ago. Considering that May 2017 was the turning point in last year's crazy market, if instead you compare 2018 with 2016, with an average of $752,324, this year was still up 8.9% in that two-year period. The active listing inventory is one of the strongest indicators of how slow or how fast the market has been moving. The inventory average for the month of May compared to historical numbers was up just 6.1%, but increased by a significant 13.2% from last year at this time. However, this is occurring selectively, with the central core Toronto neighbourhood still doing very well, while the outer regions, Peel, York and Durham, are not seeing the same level of activity. The sales to listings or percent chance of selling ratio is how we determine what type of market we're actually in. 24 to 28 percent is a neutral market. Below 24 percent is a buyer's market and above 28 percent is a seller's market. In May, that ratio finished at 37.4% compared to 55% last year. The GTA is now into a very moderate seller market territory, so sellers may need to adjust their expectations if they want to make a move. The days on market average for Toronto homes was 20 days, the same as in April. So let's look at what's happening in the downtown Toronto condominium market. West of Young and south of Bloor in the CL1 Tribe District, the average sale price for May was $666,378. That average moved up 10.2% from the same time last year. With 476 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 17% compared to 2017 and almost back to 2015 levels. There were 613 active listings on the market in May. 17% fewer than last year, but still way down from the 1,255 suites available two years ago in May 2016. The ratio of sales to listings was 77.7%, which keeps CO1 in an extremely busy seller's market territory. The average days on market came in at 16, one day slower than last month. Now east of Young and south of Bloor in the CO8 Treb District, the average sale price for May was just over $669,623. That number was up 12.8% compared to 2017. And with 179 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 22% from last year. There were 252 active listings on the market in May, down 6% from 2017. The ratio of sales to listings was a very active 71% for the month. That number keeps CO8 solidly in an extremely busy seller market territory. The average days on market came in at 12, the same as last month. Here's a summary of the significant real estate milestones for Toronto in May 2018. Influenced in a big way due to the new mortgage stress test requirements, the modest increase in mortgage rates, and lower sales of higher priced luxury homes across the GTA. We saw the lowest May sales since 2002 at 7,834, and the ratio of sales to listings dropped to 37.4% in May. We're now in a moderate seller market territory. Also, the average sale price came in at $805,320, 
which was a negative 6.6% compared to May 2017. Remember last year the new Ontario government rules came into effect on April 20th, which really influenced the May market last year. Note that this average was still 8.9% higher than two years ago in May 2016. Overall sales in the month were down 22% from one year ago. The GTA real estate market overall averaged the days on market at 20, a more normal level for this time of year. And detached home sales in May 2018 with a purchase price over $2 million were down 51% from last year. Again, it's becoming clear that first-time buyer aspirations are now shifting to a condominium lifestyle. Condo sales took a highest ever for May, 38.2% of the total market. Downtown condo active listing numbers were lower in CO1 by 17% and up in CO8 by 6% from last year at this time. And the downtown condo days on market average was 12 to 16 days, significantly faster than the overall market. The ratio of sales to listings for condos downtown ranged between 78% in CO1 to 71% in CO8, indicating an extremely strong seller's market, double the GTA overall. And the average sale price for downtown condominium suites is up by roughly $75,000 from May 2017. Building on this higher demand due to better affordability, Condo appreciation in the two main downtown markets averaged 10 to 13 percent year over year. Markets in York Region and other 905 neighborhoods have suffered the most from the market slowdown. York Region is now showing that they're in buyer market territory. As inventory increases through the spring, buyers should watch for more opportunities to get the condo or house of their dreams. This month we're looking at the stats for Toronto Real Estate Board sales and average price changes between 2017 and 2018. Sales of detached and semis in both the 416 and 905 areas are down by about 30% each. Condo apartment and townhouse sales on the other hand have only declined by 14% and 17% respectively. When you look at average sale prices, only the condominium apartment sector all across the 416 area is showing a positive appreciation number at 6.5%. And as you've heard just a minute ago, the downtown condo market south of Bloor is seeing appreciation numbers in the 10 to 13% range. More than ever, if you are a buyer or a seller, you'll need to pay attention to the peculiarities of the specific market, geographic and housing style, you're considering when evaluating what to pay or what to list your home for. So what's the best way to make your first baby step into the Toronto or GTA real estate market? Make a call or send an email to your favorite Remax Hallmark professional and set up a conversation over a coffee to discuss what your buying or selling options going forward might be. Remember to check back here in early July for our June 2018 Toronto real estate market report.